40s right there. Welcome back to a new video. Here's Jeff. You guys might have seen him in an old video. How's it going? This is his house. That's his 240. That's my 240. So we're both gonna be kind of working on our 240s at the same time, which is gonna make for some pretty good content. Super excited. Like I said, this place is only like five minutes from my house. Not even that, if I don't hit a light. It's gonna be exciting and hopefully progress flows. We got some bins in here that we're gonna use to kind of organize some of the shit that I have in my trunk. I'll show you that in a second. But it is not a pretty sight, so. Uh, it's a little bit overwhelming, to be honest. Gotta start somewhere, I guess, so. This is where we're starting. I'll quickly show you the 240 that Jeff is gonna be working on. I think a 91 hatch. He's got a dual cam, or maybe a single cam that he's gonna put in it, not sure yet. It's got some <laughs> pretty ballin' ass seats in here. Yeah, it's just a shell at the moment. It does have full interior, which is nice. And he's got a bit of a kit for it. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna start pulling shit out of the trunk. Quick look of what I got going on here. Hopefully there's a drive shaft. <laughs> There should be, but there might not be. I got my whole kit in here, which I'm gonna take out and just start organizing shit. Big shout out to Fine Line Tuning for supplying this body kit that I'm gonna be using. I've got so much shit and it all needs to be cleaned, so. Huge shout out to Street Faction for hooking me up with this amazing power brace. A lot of this stuff is KA parts, but also a lot of it is just random shit that got thrown in here. We're getting there. So we got everything out of the car and it's just as filthy as you would imagine. So I think I'm gonna go get my shop back from my house and then Jeff has a pressure washer that we can kind of just really spray everything in here. I mean, that's kind of the first step, right? Is just to get everything clean and organized. So here's all of the motor components. Uh, there should be a full motor in there somewhere. Um, this is gonna be definitely a learning experience because I've never put together a motor. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit of an idiot when it comes to that. So time to learn, I guess. Got the whole kit laid out. Uh, that headliner is not gonna work because I have a sunroof and I'd like to keep my sunroof. But yeah, rear seats, front seats from Jeff's car. They're in kind of shitty condition but uh, they'll do for now. The only thing really that I'm missing is the carpet. And once I get a carpet, I can start putting all of my interior back in the car. So the shop vac is at my house. So we're gonna run over there, but Jeff has some really cool cars. So we might take one of them. He's got this chilling out here, just in case he ever needs any parts from it for this that's chilling in here. And he's also got this super sick Sentra. And smooth. It just takes a little bit. Let it warm up. Corona Deluxe. <laughs> yeah, the three on the tree is pretty amazing. That's great. I don't know if I can do that, dude. You can't. It takes a little while to get used to, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. I think you'll have a blast driving this thing. <laughs> That's right. And then just turn the key. It's kind of like those, oh, uh, I think it was like Le Mans or something. They have it on the left side so you can just jump in and go. Cool. I mean, it's basically a race car. Oh, are you in third still? I guess I might have been. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to learn how to three on the tree. Yeah. <laughs> it's going all right, yeah. Sorry. Our shop back. Okay, dirty car about to become clean car to an extent.
Pardon. Yeah, let's see what's happening. <laughs> I don't know how gravel got in there. Okay, so before we pressure wash the inside of the car, we're gonna deal with all of this. This was kind of just to inventory what we have, and then we're gonna start organizing it and putting it in those boxes, and that way we can just throw it all in there uh, for a later date, whenever we're gonna start putting the motor together. That's gonna be not immediately, obviously. We got a lot of work to do on the car, so um, yeah. So we got everything cleaned up. Everything is inside of this a uh, little motorcycle storage thing. So we got all of the engine parts, the whole kit, except for the front bumper and rear bumper, they're in there. All the interior stuff, all in here. So the car all vacuumed out and now Jeff whipping out the pressure washer so that we can uh, kind of just clean it up a little more on the inside. We pressure washed the inside, but all the water's just like standing there. <laughs> we don't really know how to get it out. The one thing we could do is just let it sit for like a year and then the rust will just, like, the whole floor will fall out and then the water will, water will come out. Squeaky clean. All right, we got everything buttoned up. Uh, it kind of dried up on the inside, but I mean, this thing has been sitting outside for the past like two and a half years, so. Like Jeff said, a couple more days isn't going to do much. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back here working on this car a lot more. So stay tuned, and thank you for watching.